Hi guys, welcome to another Living in SA TV video, David here. Today we will talk about the Tahar project, which is basically the largest solar farm in the southern hemisphere, in the African and Middle East region, and is valued in 4.8 billion rand. Stay tuned because this video once again will blow your mind. Okay guys, so if you guys have been seeing this channel for uh, quite a while. You guys know that I already spoke about uh, this the hard project, uh, but not in depth. Uh, so now it's time for us to see this project, to see exactly what it is and how it actually benefited the community because that's the greatest part about these mega projects. And this project, like I said, it costs 4.8 billion rand. Let's find out more about it because this is huge. But I will give you guys uh, a little uh, sneak peek into the size of it. You can see it from space, which is huge, huge. Okay, so this launch of the facility is a combination of a two-phase project. The first phase has a capacity of 85 megawatts and the second phase an even larger capacity of 90 megawatts. In total, the facility is 473 soccer fields. Consists of 503,942 modules and took a mere 28 months to construct. Wow! The amount invested in the project totaled 2.2 billion and the 2.6 billion for the first and second phase respectively, making an overall investment of 4.8 billion in the development of the facility. Isn't this amazing? Wow. Okay, so the whole point of this video, like I said before, uh, this park has been done in 2016, actually end in 2014, uh, but this uh, brought huge uh, benefits for the community, uh, not only for the kids, which are they are able in nowadays to take scholarships and uh, see a better future and give them the opportunity to study in the best uh, universities in South Africa, gave jobs to the community, entire families are now in a better situation. I also want to say that uh, the the project itself, the, the hard project, already invested more than 15 million rand uh, in 13 different projects in the, the hard area, uh, which is amazing. And I love the positive message that the website gives to people. And don't forget to check it and support the cause because it's awesome to see things like this. Okay, with no more delays, guys, let's see what actually was done and also some technicalities about the project itself so stay tuned because it will worth your time and don't forget to smash and destroy that like button because i really appreciate it This part of South Africa has some of the best levels of sunshine in the world for solar generation. And that's the principal reason why it's now becoming the solar hub of the country. It's also due to the South African government's breakthrough renewable energy program. For me, the process began about 20 years ago when I was part of the team that drafted South Africa's post-apartheid energy policy. At the time, most of our electricity was being generated by Eskom from coal-fired power stations. We imagined a different world, and we wrote that into the policy. We imagined a world in which private generators could produce electricity using different kinds of energy sources, such as renewable solar power. In 2014, Da'a Solar Power became one of the first solar farms in the country to be built under this policy. Solar energy is an abundant resource. The world's annual electricity consumption is estimated at around 17,000 terawatt hours. This is roughly equivalent to the amount of energy that reaches the earth every hour as sunshine. Put another way, if we covered the Northern Cape province with solar panels, we would generate enough power for the entire world. Because solar power is clean and renewable, it is now the fastest growing form of generation in the world. The 
prepare the site for construction, various civil works had to be completed first. Leveling of the site, filling of the site, as well as all the access ropes to the site. The laydown area was prepared to receive all the equipment from the various suppliers. Once the site has been prepared, we start constructing the frames. And to be able to do that, we need to ram some poles into the ground. To enable us to get the poles into the ground in rocky terrain, we needed to drill holes into the ground. Once the holes have been drilled, we fill the holes with a gravel mixture and compact it to a high density. Once this has been done, the piling machine by our GPS coordinates ram the piles into these compaction holes. The binders and tables get constructed at a 25 degree angle. This is to get the maximum efficiency of the sun for irradiation purpose. After the binders have been fitted, the purlins get constructed. We are finally ready to fit the modules onto these tables. Meanwhile, 19 inverter containers are constructed along the facility. The modules get connected to these inverters via cables and the ground. On the other end of the facility, the high voltage substation which houses all the high voltage equipment including the 50 MBA transformer is being constructed. The substation also includes the control room which houses the protection, metering, DC as well as the SCADA monitoring system. The electrical output of each PV module is measured by a 24 hour SCADA monitoring control system which is located in the control room. The whole system is actually displayed on this SCADA system and if a fault should occur in the PV field, we as operations team can go out and repair that particular fault. The regular maintenance on the PV panels would include removing the dust of the panels and then we also run a maintenance schedule system. This would include weekly inspections and monthly inspections and yearly inspections. If any faults are picked up during these inspections, then the faults are repaired. Solar energy works by using a solar cell, which is really a thin wafer of two layers of semiconductor material. When light strikes the solar cell, Electrons are knocked loose from the atoms in the semiconductor, forming a positive charge on one side of the panel and negative on the other. Since the two layers are connected, the electrons flow between them, producing electricity. When a number of solar cells are connected to each other and mounted in a support structure or frame, they form a photovoltaic module. These models are wired together to form an array. The larger the area of an array, the more electricity produced. In the R, there are 95 modules in each array and 167,580 in total. The direct current generated is carried through wiring to an inverter which converts it to alternating current. There are 19 inverters across the field. They all come together at the substation where the power is stepped up from 22 kV to 132 kV and fed into the overhead lines. When operating at full capacity, the R solar power is capable of supplying over 85,000 megawatt hours of clean, renewable energy per year, 
meeting the annual energy needs of more than 19,000 average South African homes and avoiding the creation of more than 82,000 tons of carbon emissions from fossil fuel generation each year. Now that the project is operating, a percentage of our revenues is devoted to local development programs. We have a maths and science improvement project, and we also have enterprise development projects which are aiding small businesses to grow. Over the 20-year life of this project, a significant social investment will take place for the local community. During construction, we felt it important to start building a relationship with the local community. We approached a nearby school and asked what their immediate needs were. 60% of the learners who are registered here, their parents are unemployed. The community itself, I'll say it's semi-poor. Some learners are living in shacks. Those who are working do not earn enough money so as to sustain their kids. You'll find out that there are learners who come to school without food. Nothing, nothing, they just come to school. We have 585 learners enrolled here at school. We feed all of them. The place where we are currently in is very small. It's quite risky as the cylinders are in there. Because of the space that we have there, there are times when we have to wait and to change the timetable because the food is not yet ready. When we started to extend the kitchen, we didn't have a cent in our coffers as a school. The solar power approached us and asked what are our needs. And then immediately it struck us. Our major need is the kitchen. With that kitchen now, we will be able to have two stoves there and we'll be able to have big pots at the same time. And the food will be ready on time. That kitchen has really brought a big relief to the whole school as well as to the community. This renewable energy project brings enormous benefit to South Africa. We bring funds to invest in social and economic programs, in, in enterprise programs. We set up a trust where we have very broad ownership in the local community, ownership in these projects. And we create a lot of job opportunities during construction and during the operation. The arrival of solar benefited the community greatly around job creation. It's more than... 2,000 jobs that have been created during the construction phase of the, the, the solar farms. That was a massive economic injection into our area. We are very delighted to be part of such a great initiative whereby uh, the first solar uh, farm or plant is connecting to the grid. We are very delighted. This project has been a great success because of the partnerships that have built the project. Originally developed by Mainstream, together with investors Globalec, Tebe, Enzani, Usizo and the Community Trust. The project was financed by ABSA Capital and the Development Bank of Southern Africa and was built by Siemens. We'd like to give our thanks to all the government agencies and local stakeholders who enabled the project to be built. In particular, we would like to thank the workers who brought this project in on time and on budget. Thanks everyone for making it such a successful project.
Wow, guys, wasn't this amazing? Isn't wow? Are you guys not happy, positive, and want to do more? Because I am. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for your support for everyone that watches this amazing YouTube channel. Don't forget to smash and destroy that like button. Thank you very much for everyone that supports me via PayPal, uh, via Patreon, via YouTube memberships. And once again, don't forget and share, of course. Uh, and see you in the next Living SATV video.